right, Bob. The second half starts with Corporal Smith and Johnson as the three silly twerps. All right, sir. The big joke being there's only two of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That always cracks me up, sir. Followed by Borick's impersonation of Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> yes. Bob, take a telegram. Yes, sir. Mr. C. Chaplin, Senate Studios, Hollywood, California. Congrats, stop. Have discovered only person in the world less funny than you. <laughs> Name, Baldrick, stop. Yours, E. Blackadder, stop. Owen, oh, put a PS. Please, 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 stop. <laughs> and then after that, we have, ladies and gentlemen, the highlight of our show. Da da! <laughs> I feel fantastic. <laughs> Gorgeous Georgina, the traditional soldier's drag act. You look absolutely lovely, sir. Rorick, you are either lying, blind or mad. The lieutenant looks like all soldiers look on these occasions, about as feminine as W.G. Grace. <laughs> what are you going to give him, George? Well, I thought uh, one or two cheeky gags. Um, followed by, she was only the ironmonger's daughter, but she knew a surprising amount about fish as well. <laughs> Inspired. Well, at least you made an effort with the dress. What about your costume, Bordick? I'm in it, sir. <laughs> I see. So your Charlie Chaplin costume consists of that hat. <laughs> yes, sir. Except that in this box, I have a dead slug as a brilliant false moustache. <laughs> yes, only quite brilliant, I fear. How, for instance, are you to attach it to your face? Well, I was hoping to persuade the slug to cling on, sir. <laughs> Ulrich, the slug is dead. <laughs> if it failed to cling on to life, I see no reason why it should wish to cling on to your upper lip. <laughs> Baldrick, come on. Slugs are always a problem. What you've got to do is screw your face up like this, you see? And then you can clamp it between your top lip and your nose. What? Like this, sir? That's it, that's it, that's splendid. Right. Uh... <laughs> sir, sir, there's a visitor to see you. Good Lord, Mr Chaplin. <laughs> this is indeed an honour. Why, calls for some sort of celebration. Baldrick, Baldrick! <laughs> <laughs> sir, that is extraordinary because... This isn't Chaplin at all. This is Baldrick. Yes, it's me, sir. <laughs> I know, I know. I was, in fact, being sarcastic. Oh, I see. Hmm. Everything goes above your head, doesn't it, George? <laughs> you should go to Jamaica and become a limbo dancer. <laughs> Yes, in one short evening, I've become the most successful impresario since the manager of the Roman Colosseum thought of putting the Christians and the Lions on the same bill. <laughs> Sir, some people seem to think that I was best. Would you agree? Ulrich, in the Amazonian rainforests, there are tribes of Indians as yet untouched by civilization who have developed more convincing Charlie Chaplin impressions than yours. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, sir. He's coming off. Oh. What do you think, Bob? One more? God, I love the theatre. <laughs> it's in my blood and in my soul. Baldrick, put those in some water, will you? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> 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 